Welcome to Cheltenham International Film Festival 21. Um, I would like to straight away go to Anna Smith, who's got some news. Uh, Anna is a film critic, broadcaster, and the host of the podcast, Girls on Film. So Anna, take it away with the news. Well, I'm thrilled to be the chair of the jury this year for the Emerging Director Award, and I'm very happy that the winner is the director and writer of I Never Cry, Piotr, who we have right here with us now. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Well, it was a really tough choice for us because obviously five fantastic films, all really distinctive voices, but your film really won us over with its originality, its strong voice. And for me, this is a film that really encourages empathy. And, and to me, that's yeah, such yeah. an important quality in filmmaking. It helps you, helps you understand other cultures, uh, as well as being darkly funny. Um, tell me a little bit more about the film from that perspective, about trying to kind of communicate the different cultural experiences. Uh, well, the thing is that I was always interested in films that are telling me something about the different culture. That's why I like uh, Farhadis films. That's why I really like uh, Birge Ceylan's films, he's making those films like Once Upon a Time in Antolia is just uh, describing somehow um, the condition of people. It's not about saying anything about the country because that's the thing you can read on uh, Wikipedia or whatever, but that's the condition of, of people there. And that, that was always the most important thing for me. And um, that's what I was trying to do in my films and I'm still trying to do that. And that was the most important thing. And about this, uh, how to say that dark and rough humor, it's like, I mean, people in my side of Poland, we are communicated this, communicating this way. So um, yeah, that's, I, I grew up in this kind of, how to say that, uh, mood of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think, yeah, actually, as a Brit, we kind of get that humour as well. I think it, it really works for me. And let's talk a little bit about your star, Zofia, because she really is tremendous. How did you find her? Well, it was a really long and difficult process because, um, as you for sure know, it's a very difficult decision, not for a director, but mainly for the producer to engage, uh, to... Uh, uh, to, to take the, the beginner to the film and uh, it was a difficult decision there was all there there was always somebody much much more uh, experienced uh, on the horizon on the short list but i was like it's it's just it's very simple thing basically it's uh, it's just the, the sense if i can believe that this story is happening to her and that's Basically, it's that simple, but it makes the casting and the audition very difficult because you have to check it for real if, 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 if she is the one, if she's the person. And it was a difficult um, situation. There was like 1,200 uh, young actresses uh, sending us uh, their self-tapes. And then we uh, made this uh, short list, about 60 uh, young actresses. Uh, they were not only experienced actresses, but also beginners and, you know, and uh, yeah, there were five steps of this, um, this audition, this, this disgusting, which, which was really tiring for, for main, uh, our main actress, but she, her, um, her temper and also her um, sensitivity on the second, because it's, it's the measure of the temper and, uh, and, um, and sensitivity actually about this, 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 this protagonist, because that's what her uh, character is balancing all the time around. So um, yeah, so it was difficult, but I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy that we, uh, we were able to do that this way. I'm really happy for her. She's really, she's really modest. She's really, gentle person and she's like you know she's she's not um, this kind of person that is you know um, en enjoying on instagram or whatever she's just you know trying to be <laughs> focused and trying to work on her uh, actress uh, workshop on her on her tools which is for her is just the beginning it's a big beginning which is difficult but that's the beginning i hope 
Well, Leslie's told me, which I'm sure is true, we have a lot of young filmmakers who get involved with Chelsea and the International Film Festival and are watching the films. Um, from your perspective and after your success with this and other awards, what advice would you give to young people starting out in the film business? Mm. Ah, in my opinion, the most important thing, because it's very easy, because before, before having the perspective and um, being in the position to shoot the uh, long feature, I was shooting uh, short films and I made six of them. And there is kind of temptation to make something that will attract uh, Jewish on festivals or whatever that has to base on a common, um, how to say that, not a political discussion, but about those uh, things that you know from, from news and big subjects. In my opinion, it's much, much more important to make something honest that basically describes the world you grew up in or you live in. And that's, that's the important thing for me. That's the most important thing. And uh, otherwise it's always a game. It's kind of a gambling. And uh, I, I would rather, I, I really, really like my way because, uh, because it's honest. And it's at the end, <laughs> because you have this, this expression in the film, which I very like, <laughs> because the last sentence that she's saying about her father is, ah, uh, you can tell that he was doing his best and that's it. And we were basically, we were doing our best. That's, that's the thing I can do. I mean, I can do more, but at the end of the day, you can tell yourself, all right, I made an honest film, an honest picture. It may not be that attractive or whatever, but that's me. And I did my work as honest as it's possible. I think that's the most important thing. Well, we obviously responded to that authenticity, as have many audiences. And um, what are you working on next? Well, uh, right now I made a film. We are actually finishing editing. It's a feature about a very, well, I would, I would call it strange situation because it was, um, it's my first experience with not um, writing the script because I was not the writer of the script. And I was, you know, I like... Um, uh, difficult situations and I like adventures so I thought that it would be nice to try something uh, different this time and um, it's a it's a film about um, this kind of action actually because in uh, 1985 in communist Poland there was this huge um, huge situation about um, investigating investigating homosexual community and they, they made 11,000 pink files, you know, to, to uh, blackmailing people, to um, having secret uh, uh, cooper cooperatives or uh, confident uh, workers. And, um, and we made the very, actually the, the situation is big, but what I focused uh, this time, I focused about the guy who is, dealing with this difficult situation because he's a part of this big uh, government machine just about to crush those, those people who are weaker and he has this, this strong, strong break um, about his feelings if they are doing good or not. And that's, that's, that's actually the measure of, of his uh, struggle. And um, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the film. <laughs> That sounds very interesting indeed. I look forward to that. Um, and I also wanted to, well, say thank you to Leslie for having me as chair of the jury this year and to the audience and also to my fellow jurors because everyone's, you know, really enjoyed getting stuck in and watching the films and a terrific selection. And once again, Piotr, many congratulations. Thank you very much. It's an honor. It's a great news. Actually, I'm yeah. fixing my floor today. What well, are you doing? What? I'm fixing my floor. Oh. Uh, is that how you celebrate? <laughs> uh, no, yes, and uh, I mean, I will show you. <laughs> I'll show you because, uh, yeah, I have to fix the floor because it's kind of des de destroyed. And I'm uh, like, you know, I'm, I need to get rid of those sturdy things and put something new. And I'm doing it myself.
because you, it, well, makes me, it makes me calm. I mean, it's like it's also something else you do. You direct television, don't you? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, there's series, a series called series Sex for Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Do you know that series, Anna? What's it called? Say it again. Sexify. I I do not. I, do you know what? I have spent so long watching movies. I rarely get to watch TV, but that does happen. <laughs> Sexify. Is I on do. Net, it's on Netflix, and it's right. it's a big sensation. Yes. Sexify is a huge sensation, and he's the director of it. <laughs> and I wrote that uh, actually also. <laughs> but the funny thing about the sexify is that uh, I, I, I create a pretty simple story with a, with a strong uh, high concept, of course, which was not my idea, but those characters are really simple. And uh, actually what was my inside joke, they both, those girls, they are from my hometown called Womja. And now, can you imagine, it appeared that it was the most watchable Netflix series all over the world in May, which means yeah. <laughs> that those people heard about my hometown and it's, it makes, yeah. me, it so makes you're, me laugh. You're on a very good track at the moment from television and films and everything. But look, uh, Piot, uh, we hope to screen the uh, film I Never Cry on your screen, which is our virtual cinema. Um, but um, best of luck with it and, uh, you know, huge success and yeah, thank you for taking time to be with us today. Thank you for having me guys. It's, it's, it's a great honor actually, really. Yeah, great. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm going to celebrate by fixing my floor. <laughs> <laughs> then have thank some you. <laughs> yeah, I will. In the evening, yes. <laughs>